If y'all don't start commenting and sharing and subscribing, it's going to be me and y'all. Yeah. Stop playing with me. Comment. Hello, my fault. Go to the video. Hello. Bring in some of that royalty. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Nick G, the host, and today I'm back with another reaction video. Before we go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. You dig what I'm saying and with the goddamn hair your league. So, this is Royalty's video. Uh, it's entitled, Let's Get It Straight. Before we even get into this video, y'all, I want y'all to know I appreciate y'all for tuning in with me because you could be anywhere else, but you are here with me. I appreciate that. What? What? Y'all, CJ done got chitty chitty bang banged on, bro. Which is not funny at all, okay? Before we even get into this, I'm not laughing. But hell, he have humor with everything he say, so I'm gonna have humor with what I say. Now, my boy done got hurt, and I pray for his recovery. But they blaming royalty for it. They saying royalty tried to set my boy up. I just, I can't believe this. Y'all, the woman still got two kids by this man, bro. And granted, don't get me wrong, we are in 2023. It's a lot of wild, unexplainable things going on out here in these streets. But I just don't think royalty did this, okay? Hell, it would be too late. She could have been did it. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, I'm not even... We just gonna listen to what she got to say. Let's get it. It's me, royalty, and I am back with another video. Guys, as you guys can see... This craziness, this madness that is going on, this real life situation that's going on right now. And um, yeah, I just wanna get on here and straighten some things out and clear some things out because a lot is a lot is being said and a lot is going on right now. So first and foremost, Appreciate I just wanna just say thank God that CJ's okay and thank God like the kids wasn't there. Thank God that, you know, Kamari wasn't there and thank God nobody actually was really, really hurt. You know, like I'm glad that CJ is really, really okay. And for everybody to, to say that, um, since I have not said anything on the internet publicly, to think that I'm involved is mind blowing and it is bizarre because this is literally the father of my kids. Hello. Y'all, why the hell would she kill CJ? Why would she kill the breadwinning daddy? The broke daddy still out here chilling, alive. Why would she kill the breadwinning father? That don't make sense. People love to just talk. Shut up! For CJ to be gone, what will that benefit me? Hello. In reality, what will that really benefit me if Not CJ a damn was really thing, gone? Friend. If y'all right really now. think about it, what will that benefit me and my kids? My it kids won't. will be fatherless. So for y'all to think that I was involved or I have something to do with this, y'all need to think twice. I'm trying to move on with my life. It's like I can't even catch a break from, from I can't catch a break from anything that's going on involving CJ or anything that goes on with the situation. So it's just like, um, you damned if you do, damned if you don't. That's what she want to say. She don't even know how to say it. She been minding a business, y'all done turned around and got some new dick. <laughs> Hello. Done got some new dick. Now, I need a snack, because this is a mess. Sometimes stuff just make you nervous, don't it? Damn. I'm nervous. This is a mess. <laughs> In my business, like I've been doing. Like, y'all see what I've been going through. I've been trying to get my house together. and it's just Trying to get your house together. Got new dick. Let's not talk about, let's not not talk about how you got a new dick. Just saying. was like, yeah, I got a call at 3 a.m. A real life situation. My first instinct is not to jump on the internet. My first instinct was, yeah, I called him, tried to check up on him and do all the other stuff. I even tried to go down to the hospital, but I got denied because somebody else was already in the room. So it was like, I tried to do what I had to do, but running to the- CJ, I don't know damn what. CJ, you had CJ, you had shot in the room. You had shot in the room, nigga. That lady ain't cooked a meal, ain't. 
She ain't did nothing for you. Hell, you ain't get shot till you got with her, CJ. You ain't get shot till you got with her, CJ. And you got her in the room. Hey, that's some crap. No, I was so funny. Not to earn too much, no. Mm. Internet was not my first instinct to do, to what, get y'all guys' approval, or what, to show what, my emotion. Like I said, I've never been in this situation before. It is a very scary situation, and I would never, ever wish this. Kia, hey, I'm gonna eat my cheese it I'm gonna eat my cheese it Okay, friend, I'm gonna eat my cheese it <laughs> Upon my worst enemy. So it's just like, oh, you talking for about, people oh, to think that I was really involved is like, it's like I said, it's mind blowing. <laughs> he's, he's the father of my kids. Even though me and CJ, we have our my differences fault. and we know, you know, we broke up and right. we're like not really on the best of terms. <laughs> we're working on it, but I would never in my entire life wish that upon him. I'm a mother of five kids. Why would I, why would I jeopardize my own life for, for what? What, like I said, what am I going to get at the end of, of him being gone? He's going to be gone, and what am I going to have left? Nothing. So y'all really need to think twice. Y'all playing with people's lives. Y'all got y'all y'all giving me death threats. Y'all de making death threats to my kids. Like, this is a real-life situation. And like I said, I've never, ever been in this situation. So my first instinct was not to run to the Internet. I spoke, like I said, I spoke to CJ behind closed doors. I spoke to him all day yesterday. He spoke to the kids. Like, we were communicating just because I wasn't online. And for you guys to just be pointing your fingers and putting titles on, and putting titles on people's names and stuff that, like, y'all really need to think about stuff before y'all really be typing stuff because it's real people's Y'all need to think about stuff before your ass get shot. I mean, you know what you might be like. Friend? I'm not talking Lives about. on the line. Go in the corner! I understand that people go on their internet and do things, but sometimes, hey, look, I have no control over what people do. So as far as like people's trying to involve my friend, yeah, my friend. You guys are giving him the title of him being my man. I never came to the internet, or he never even came to the internet of, of us being together. I went on one date with him, and I've been to the studio with him twice. We talk about music for everybody to throw his name. Oh, wait, 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 wait. You guys are giving him the title of him being my man. I never came to the internet, or he never even came to the internet, of, of us being together. I went on one date with him, and I've been to the studio with him twice. We talk about music for everybody to throw his name under the- Not blaming the other dude. Oh my God. This internet is crazy. <laughs> like real shit. Blame other buddy. Man. There because of something that he posted. It, that could be anything. It could be music. It could be anything. It could be anything. And for you guys, like I said, for you guys to give him a title of him being my man, I didn't even give him that title. So so it's just it's just it's just it's weird. It's awkward. It's 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 I don't know. It's just it's just too much right now. So I'm glad he's okay. I'm glad the kids weren't there. It's just that the situation is just, I just hope everybody just opens up their eyes and just watches who they have around, whoever they keep around them. Just, just be safe out there because like, Why y'all? <laughs> Why y'all blame everybody else but the person that he just newly started being around? Hmm? Hmm? Why we all gotta get blamed? CJ brought somebody new into his life. He is around new people. Why the hell we got to bring royalty and her people? Hmm. Ain't that like, white a bitch? Know, it's just, yesterday was a real life situation for me. I could have lost the father of my kids. Like, real life situation and... I just don't know what to say, guys. So to me, guys, this whole situation is just crazy. It's mind-blowing. It's just, it's eye-opening. And it's just crazy. Like I said, when I got the text messages, it was, it was mind-blowing because I personally go to CJ's house. Like, when I take my kids there, I personally go there. And when you go to CJ's house, it's, 
it's equipped, like it's really protected. Like to get into CJ's, for everybody saying, oh, bro, it's a code, it's a code, it's a code. There is no code to get into where CJ lives at. Let me let me tell y'all that first of all. To get into where CJ lives at, you need your uh, you need your ID, and they take a picture of your license plate. And how do you get to CJ's house? You're going up. I'm pretty sure y'all seen, y'all see on the internet, you are going up mountains to get to CJ's house. So the people that thought they were doing something, they were dumb. They were really, really dumb because like I said, I personally go to CJ's house. You are dumb. And it ain't no way, it, it ain't no way. You are dumb, you are really dumb, for real. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna say, it ain't no way. So I just think people should just sit back and watch and just let the police do their job and stop pointing the finger and stop putting name and putting titles onto people because these are real. this is a real life situation and these are, we got a real situation going on. So I just hope that whoever did this, they get caught because they real dumb for this. Real, real, real dumb for this. So, um, yeah, Royalty Nation. At the end of the day, guys, business still needs to be handled. I still got my life to live. I still got my five kids to take care of, and I still got business to handle. So, that being said, if you have not downloaded the app Swag It, which is in my link below, your period, sis, get your bread. All right. We're going to make that an eight minutes with Neek. I just, um, I pray that everything is all right. I know Royalty ain't had nothing to do with it, like, as if we friends. But at this point, we are. I know she ain't had nothing to do with it. Now, CJ done got around a whole bunch of new people. He doing a whole bunch of new shit. He doing everything you absolutely, abs actually ain't supposed to do. <laughs> everything he doing, he ain't supposed to be doing right now. Networking with new people, ain't nothing wrong with networking and all that. But you got people in the crib or people that know about the crib, people that know about something that ain't supposed to. But anyway, y'all let me know what you think down in the comment section below. I'm praying for CJ regardless of the whole situation. And I hope when he get, you know, well, you know, he has a better strategy of uh, his living. You know what I'm saying? But I'm done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.